Very good morning, dear students. Today I am presenting model paper of FPA 3, paper number 2. Already you have watched paper number 1. And this paper is inclusive of answers. Welcome to FA3 Social Science Model Paper 2. Now we have syllabus. Let us see the revised syllabus of FA3. History the 6th and 7th lesson. Political Science the 3rd lesson. Geography the 5th, 6th and 7th lesson. And in economics, third lesson. Totally seven lessons are taken for this FA3 paper number two. Total 20 marks. Allotment of marks to the various types of questions are like this. MCQ, totally three. Each question carries one mark. Very short answer. Three marks. Each question carries one mark. Short answers, totally three questions. Each question carries two marks, two into three, six. Long answer, totally two questions. Each question carries three marks, totally six. Drawing of map and location of places. You have to draw for that. You have one mark, two places, off into two, one. So that means totally two marks. So total 20 marks. Four choices are given for each of the questions and incomplete statements. Choose the correct answer and write it with the alphabets. First question is before you. The last emperor of Mughal kingdom was Aurangzeb, Faroxiar, Bahadur Shah II, Shah Alam II. So you need to choose the correct answer, write the answer along with its alphabet. The book given the book Gita Rahasya was written by Arbindo Ghosh, W.C. Banerjee, G.K. Gokale, Bal Gangadra Tilak. So which is the correct answer? You need to write it in a book. I will give you the answer later. The birthplace of river Krishna is Mahabaleshwar, Amarakantak, Mount Abu, Triambak. So write the answer in your notebook. Three MCQs over. Now I take you to one more questions. Answer the following in a word or sentence each. So three questions you will have. Name the leaders of radicals. Write any two vegetation of mangrove forest. Which nation signed Shimla agreement? Or what is barter system? So these are the questions you need to answer for three marks. The third question you have option. The next main. Answer the following in three to four sentences each. The fourth question. Which were the political reasons for the 1857 revolt? Who were revolutionaries? What was their method of fighting? Write the immediate cause for the 1857's revolt. So this is an optional question for you. Totally, you have six marks. Two into three, six. And the sixth question is, write the geographical requirements to grow tea crop. Now, we have Three mark question. You have two questions here. Each carries three marks. What were the effects of 1857's revolt? Or write the demands and methods of fighting of moderates against British. You have one more question for that. What are the importance of forests? You have an optional question for this. Write the geographical requirements to cultivate cotton and tobacco. So these are the questions. Now we have map section. Draw a neat map of India and locate. 
places like River Narmada and Northern Sarkars. Let us answer it now. Formative Assessment Paper 2 Answers The first multiple choice question The last emperor of Mughal kingdom was Bahadur Shah Zafar or Bahadur Shah II. The book Gita Rahasya was written by Bal Gangadhar Tilak. The birthplace of River Krishna is Mahabaleshwar. Now we have one more question. Name the leaders of radicals. Paul Gangadra Tilak, Arabindo Ghosh, Lala Lajpatrai, Bipin Chandrapal. Out of these four, any two, if you write, you will get one mark. Write any two vegetation of mangrove forests. Rhizophora, canes, palms, and sundari trees. Which nation signed Shimla Agreement? India and Pakistan signed Shimla Agreement. What is barter system? Exchange of goods for goods in trade is called barter system. Now we have three marks, or two marks question. You will have totally three. Which were the political reasons for 1857's revolt? The answer, due to the doctrine of lapse implemented by British, many Indian kings had to lose their kingdom. As a result of this policy, Satara, Jaipur, Jhansi, Udaipur and many other states became part of the British Empire. Dalhousie abolished the kingship of Tanjavur and Karnatic Nawabs. The British dethroned Mughal kings and many other kings. As a result, many soldiers depended on these kings became unemployed. All these are the political reasons for 1857's revolt. You have a question here. Number 5. Who were the revolutionaries? What were their method of fighting? Arbindo Ghosh, V. D. Savarkar, Ashwini Kumar Datta, Rajanarayana Bose, Rajguru, Bhagat Singh, Chandrasek Razad were the revolutionaries. They dreamed of attaining complete freedom by employing violent methods. They established secret associations across the country and started collecting weapons and money for an armed struggle against the British. They used bombs, guns to achieve their goal. You have an optional question for the same. Write the immediate cause for the 1857's revolt. The British started providing Royal Enfield rifles or guns, a type of new and improved guns. A rumor spread that the bullets or cartridges of these guns were smeared of fat of cow and pig. The cow was sacred for Hindus and the pig was a forbidden, forbidden animal for Muslims. So that's why Hindu Muslims refused to use the grease cartridges. This led to the immediate cause for the revolt. Write the geographical requirements to grow tea crop. Tea is a tropical and subtropical crop. It requires 21 degree to 30 degree Celsius and heavy rainfall of 150 to 250 centimeter in a year. Fertile soil rich in humus required. It grows well from 1200 meters to 2400 meters above sea level. 
Assam, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Kerala cultivate tea in huge quantity. Now we have the fourth main. Answer the following in five to six sentences each. Each question carries three marks. You have an optional question for each. What were the effects of 1857's revolt? The answer, the governance of East India Company came to an end and the governance of British government started. The administration of India was handed over to Secretary of States of the British Parliament. The Queen of Britain passed a declaration in 1858. Accordingly, the agreements entered by the company with local kings were accepted. Non pursuance of regional expansion, providing a stable government for Indians, non interference of the government in religious issues of Indians and practicing religious tolerance. The British realized that unless and until they command and the love, unless and until they command the love and affection of Indians, ruling India would be a difficult proposition. The British implemented policy of association, that means they included Indians in policy making. Write the demands and method of fighting of moderates against British. Moderates had faith in the rule of British and judiciary. They used to table their demands with the framework of the constitution through prayers and requests. They tried to bring in political awareness among the people. They organized public meetings, discussed various burning issues and submitted memorandums to the government. They submitted memorandums demanding cutting down of military expenditure, development of Indian industries, providing good education and programs for poverty alleviation. What are the importance of forests? Forests constitute one of the natural resources of India. It helps us both directly and indirectly. Let us see how does it help directly. Forests provide a large variety of wood which is used as fuel, timber and industrial raw material. Forests provide fodder for livestock and employment opportunities for the people. Indirectly, forest preserves the physical features, check soil erosion, control floods and regulate the flow of rivers. Forests prevent desertification, help to improve soil fertility, make the climate equable and help to maintain ecological balance. They provide shelter to wildlife too. These are the importance of forests. The next question, write the geographical requirements to cultivate cotton and tobacco. First, tobacco. Tobacco is a rabi crop. It requires 21 to 27 degrees Celsius temperature and moderate rainfall of 50 to 100 centimeter a year. Sandy, loamy soil is required. For cotton, we require 21 to 27, 24 degrees Celsius temperature. It's a subtropical crop. It requires 50 to 100 centimeters of rainfall a year. It grows well in black cotton soil. Draw map of India and locate River Narmada and Northern Sarkars. The first place Narmada is located near Gujarat, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Gujarat, Northern Sarkar. So draw map of India and locate properly. Keep watching SP Source online for all the classes of uh, social science and English.
wish you all the best write your fa3 exams well all the best